Okay, let's get get them down here on the Max B TV starting grid. Falkingham grabbing that pole with a one minute fifteen point two nine two. Congratulations! And that was a nice lap. Aaron Smith, I think it kind of actually shocked Aaron a little bit right there. But Aaron, we'll start <laughs> on the outside of the front row. Um, Nate Stewart in third. Anthony Emery fourth. Scott Rambler will start fifth. Justin Gable, wow, nice qualifying time for Justin Gable starting sixth. Uh, Jared Darling, 7th. John Barry bumps all the way back to 8th. Spencer Owens, ninth, And Brett Punkari rounds out the top 10. Joseph? Terrell Baker will start 11th with Tony Hilbrand starting 12th. In row number 7, we have Sean Williams who put in the last qualifying time. He'll start 13th. Elijah Gracia, 14th. Row number 8, we have Tom Mercier, 15th. Bobby Chaney will start 16th. Row number 9, we have Caden Henry, 17th. And James Koulibaly, 18th. And then in row number 10, we have Cody Miller, 19th, and Hunter Combs going to be making his first start um, this season. Haven't seen him in a while in oh. Newark. Uh, he'll be starting in the 20th spot. All right, Scott. Schuer will start 21st. Uh, Taylor Fry, 22nd. Keaton Jones, 23rd. Uh, Patrick Colby will start 24th. 24 drivers. 24 drivers to try to get around 10 turns here at the 2.46 mile Canadian Tire Motorsport Park. And track temperature, a little bit hot. It's under 7 degrees right now with a little bit of wind. But uh, some I know a few of these guys can handle that. We got a few drivers in the top five right now that I feel is going to be the favorites to win. You got Daniel Falkiam, Aaron Smith, Nate Stewart, Anthony Emery, Scott Ramon. I feel like those five are the drivers to watch out for. But like I said before, Rudy, you never know what's going to happen in these North races. Anything can happen. That's right. Now, Daniel hasn't been too successful on road courses. Uh, he can run good. Uh, I'm not saying he can't run good, but it seems like uh, after a lap or two, he kind of falls off a little bit. So let's see if he can keep Aaron Smith at bay this time and at least lead a lap, you know, and get that bonus well, point and then kind of relax a little bit. Well, Daniel Falkiam, he he's always been running in the top five at road courses. He's consistent stuff, but it seems like he just cannot close it out at the end. Yep. Can he get that road course win in Newark tonight? We're, we're going to find out after 32 laps. Takes a little while to do a pace lap around here. Sure does. 2.43 miles, I think it is. And 55 miles an hour, it takes a little bit. Coming up on, I think this is the hairpin. Yep, this is definitely hairpin. the hairpin, so we're about half a lap away. This is uh, this is where you're going to see guys will get down to the lowest uh, speed right there on the course right there at that hairpin. Yeah, that's probably going to be one of the definitely the most trouble spots tonight. Oh, Daniel Falkingham, Falkingham. what happened? What's going on with Falkingham right now? Uh -oh. Remember uh -oh. at the beginning of last week, Rudy, remember he got disconnected at the beginning Ooh. of last week. And now all of a sudden he's having issues. Boy. Okay, now he's he's got back up to speed, but the thing is, will they be able to have enough time? Will he have enough time to get up there? He's trying Looks to get like up to the field, yeah. So I don't know what happened there, but yeah, two weeks in a row before the start of the race, Rudy, he has an issue. Oh, man. But it looks like he's going to be fine. Hopefully, yep. his car will stay under power for the rest of the six. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I do appreciate you tuning in tonight here on Max Speed TV. We're going road course racing here at Canadian Tire Motorsport Park. 32 laps, 10 turns. Let's see what happens here. Here we go. The pace car is off. Daniel Falken will lead the field down to green flag. The green flag is in the air. We're going road course racing here in Canada. And, man, I'm telling you what, Aaron Smith did not waste a second. He got right out there in front of Daniel Falkingham. Oh, absolutely not, and I'm not surprised by that either. I think uh, Daniel Falkingham know that uh, Aaron Smith was going to get a good takeoff, so he let him go, yep. let him have that spot, and maybe he can charge after him uh, once we get settled in here. But Aaron Smith will lead right now. Yep. Anthony Emery. It's by uh, Nate Stewart goes into third. And I think you're right about Anthony Emery. I think he's going to be a factor here tonight. 
Here we go into the hairpin turn. It seems like so far the top 10 has made it through just fine. Doesn't look like anybody else in the field is having any issues right now. So it looks like so far so good, Rudy. Yes, sir. John Barry, seventh plate, picking up one position since the start. Oh, but uh, Aaron Smith looks like he's going to come around and lead the very first lap of this race. And get a much needed bonus point. Uh, Aaron's not even. Uh, she's not even in the top 20 in points. Whoa. <laughs> oh, he had uh, problems there a while back. A connection issue. Internet uh, problems and all that. Oh, yeah. But remember, uh, Aaron Smith, I feel like he could lock himself into the playoffs if he wins tonight. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, even with a good result tonight, it'll uh, definitely get him back into the picture into the, to try to make the playoffs. Anthony Emery starting to get a mirror full of Nate Stewart now. He's not able to steal up there on uh, close up on Daniel Falkingham. And Scott, uh, can't get away. Scott Ramler just got by uh, Justin Gable for that fifth spot. So Scott Ramler trying to move up to the field. Oh, it looked like Daniel Falkingham went wide there just a little bit in the hair pit turn. And Anthony Emery is right there behind. But while that's happening, Aaron Smith is just pulling away. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, Aaron's got it. He's checking out right now. He's taking advantage of every situation he can. But them guys battling back there, he's loving life right now. Out front with clean air and just he's got the whole track to himself. Your darling eighth, Spencer Owens, ninth. And Terrell Baker picking up one position as he slides it around the corner. Oh, man. Wow, nice job. <laughs> I mean, that was a this, nice save. This track is a little bit hot. And what I mentioned it at the beginning of the broadcast, where you don't really want to mash the throttle right. when you're trying to get off the point. You want to play it around a little bit, especially on a little hot racetrack on road course. It's very difficult to get off the corners. So uh, you, that's why you're probably going to see a lot of these shires play with the throttle. Well, I'm telling you what, he was playing with the throttle and brake on that one. <laughs> that <laughs> sure. was pretty uh, crazy right there. Brett Poncari. Back to 11th. Tony Hillbrand's in 12th. They're kind of about where they started here. Sean Williams, 13th. Now, Tom Mercier just got around Elijah Gracia. And I've seen some great things out of Tom Mercier lately. I think he's been doing a lot better on the road courses. I tell you what, I've watched Daniel Falkium the first couple of laps, and uh, he seems like he's struggling in the hair pit turn. He keeps going wide. Uh, through that hairpin turn, uh, but he does get that run coming off, and Anthony Emery hasn't made any move to try to get by him for that second spot. But uh, Daniel Falke, I'm a little bit wide through the hairpin turn. I'm not sure if uh, he's not liking that corner right now. Maybe he needs to find a different way to get it get through that corner. But so far, he's still holding on to the second spot. But while that's happening, Aaron Smith, 1.8 seconds now. Yeah, he's stretching it right out there now. And rightfully so. I mean, that's what he's got to do. You know, the further he can get out there, the better off he'll be. And, uh, you know, as, as I always heard guys, some guy told me a long time ago, you got to keep yourself a couple of mistakes ahead of him. Absolutely. You know, a couple of mistakes. The guy told me when I was learning how to fly my radio control plane, he said, you keep yourself, <laughs> you keep yourself three mistakes high. Absolutely. Three mistakes high. So... Rambler, Scott. fifth place. Yeah, I was just about to say, uh, Scott Rambler is closing in on Nate Stroh. We might expect the pass from him in a couple of corners, at least sometime in the next few corners, because he's he's fast right now. Um, he did not get the qualifying that he wanted to. Started fifth, but expect him to make some moves uh, charging up through the field uh, uh, throughout this race. As they come around to complete another lap here, they can lap number five. Yeah, look at Ramley. He closed in on Nate Stewart there. Just trying to find a way to get a run, to get around. Look at that run. He's going to get off the corner oh, here. Oh, yeah. And Nate, Nate can feel the pressure on his back right now. He's saying, <laughs> man, that guy, he is just right there, man. I can't, I, he can't afford to make a mistake here or lose that position. And you know, Scott, he's going to push you right to the oh, edge absolutely. of you making a mistake. 
Well, he's the Scott has said it before that he is an aggressive driver. He will do anything he can to make pass. Oh, look at that. He got to oh, his, make sure his yeah. back bumper. Oh, man. Now watch him get the run off. He cuts it low right there. Oh, and he's going to get the man. run off, but just not quite enough to maybe make a move on him. Oh, he's kind of. Yeah, he does. Oh, well, look at the Nate, block, oh, Nate Stewart. Oh, a little blocking going on. If I was Nate Stewart, I'd give oh. him that spot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I wouldn't fight with him. Yep, I think you're right on that one. Oh, wow. What? Man. And Nate Stewart, man, he threw it into that corner. I thought he was going to slide into Scott Rambler. It was awfully close. And them two racing. The, well, that's probably the best battle on the track right now that I can see. Uh oh, here we go. Now, uh, oh, no, no. no. Boy, Nate's just yes. keeping that. He's keeping the, the line. Man, he is wow. doing a good job holding them off. I think yes, Anthony is. Emery is going to, not Anthony Emery, uh, Scott Rambler is going to lose some patience very soon. Yeah, he might just uh, give him the old chrome horn there and move him. He's got a run on him now. The oh, inside. There oh, we go. there we go. The, there's the pressure. Yep. Oh, and behind him, uh, Spencer Owen spins. Oh, no. He's facing the opposite direction. Nobody's going to hit him, and it oh, looks like we're going to stay green. Only a one-car incident, and that's yep. too bad for uh, Spencer Owens. He had a decent qualifying uh, yes. result, started ninth. He was running ninth at the time of that incident. No and damage, that's, though. That's good. Oh, absolutely, but that's going to probably anything. put him back to 15th now. And it look at so... the... Go ahead. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I was going to say, it's so hard to make that time up. Oh, absolutely. We actually got a battle for the 11th spot, looks like, ahead. Or 12th spot, I should yeah. say. Oh, well, Mercier and Terrell Baker. Oh, man, Terrell Baker, he wants to get around uh, Tom Mercier. Well, Tom passed him. And I don't think wow. Terrell, Terrell wasn't too happy about that pass. Now here comes Tom uh, Mercier to try to get by uh, Sean Williams. He's That's moving up. Yeah. Ooh, oh, man. Sideways. Got side moving up and sliding off the course. Ooh. Man. Well, that's the thing with these cars. You know, they're a lot of fun to drive, but, boy, you can't put too much wheel into them. Oh, Elijah off in the grass there. Wow, who's that coming off Perot with a lot of damage? That's actually Caden Henry. What yeah, happened that's to him? I don't oh, know, but. Spencer Owens oh, off Spen the track again. Oh, no. Keep it off the tires, buddy. Wow, now, good I, I think job. The, I think after that spin that Spencer Owens had. Oh, is somebody's in the tire barrel. That's Sean Williams. Oh, no. He got right into it. Oh, man. Looks like he's going to keep going, but, man, I don't know what that happened damage. to him. Yeah, oh, yeah, it looked like he just went wide through that corner. But I was, what I was saying about Spencer Owens, those tires are probably hot right now after that spin, so those tires aren't going to make him handle pretty well. Oh, yeah, for sure. Let's go back up here to the front. Falkingham now two or no three seconds behind our leader Aaron Smith. Three seconds. Yeah, Aaron Smith it just knows how to get around this racetrack right now. He is fast. Three second lead over Daniel Falkingham. Uh, Anthony Emery, I tell you what, hasn't uh, been able to close in on Daniel nope. Falkingham right now. Uh, Scott Rambler back and forth. He's definitely pulled away from uh, Justin Gable and stuff. Well, we're already a quarter of the way through this race. Can you believe it? <laughs> I can believe it. I mean, <laughs> these guys are flying around here. And Scott Schuer looks like he lost connection. And he has dropped out of team speak. So he is uh, probably not going to be back. That's going to hurt him bad in the points. He really need, did need to have a decent run here today. He uh, no. was uh, 12th in point or 13th. He's, yep. And Not what he needed. And remember, well, only the top 12 makes it into the playoffs. Right. Well, Rambler did get around some drivers back here. Now goes into fourth place. And uh, he is running about three seconds behind, or I'm sorry, 3.2 seconds behind Anthony Emery. So he's got a lot of ground to make up. I'll tell you what, it looked like uh, Anthony Emery was closing in on Daniel Falkium, 
in the last couple of turns, but he lost some ground on that last yep. turn. So uh, now he needs to go chase back down uh, Daniel Falkiam. And the thing is, um, I know uh, Aaron Smith is fast, and I know Daniel Falkiam is probably holding up Anthony Emery, but I wonder what kind of car Anthony Emery has, just in case if he is able to close in on Aaron Smith later on in this race. Yeah, that does kind of make you wonder, you know. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah, okay. I think, I think Daniel Falkiam let him go. He's like, okay, yep. I know you're faster than me. I'll just let you have it right now. Yeah, Daniel's looking at the big picture, right? You know, he's yeah. going to get some, you know, uh, we don't have any stage here or nothing, so there's no stage points. But, uh, you know, as long as he can keep his, uh, keep his mind set on the finish here of the race, you know. He's, some of them got something could happen to them too up front. God forbid. I don't want to see that happen, but something could happen to them. It stops are going to be coming in here probably, well, we're long about the halfway mark. And, uh, you know, a lot can happen right there. Beat on pit road, fly through your pit stall. Look at this bow back here for the six. Oh, somebody's off the track up in front. That's Justin Gable. Went a little bit oh, wide. Oh, yeah, yep. He sure did. And he's, and he's coming into pit yep. road. Now, we might see some drivers do different strategies here, too. Sure. Yep. But this battle right here for the sixth spot is heating up just a uh, I'm sorry, for a fifth spot is heating up a little yeah. bit. Nate Stewart is kind of struggling with his car right now. It doesn't seem like he can get through the corners as well as John Barry or Jared Darling. But John Barry, he's picked up a couple spots. He's been quietly moving yeah. up just a little bit running in the sixth spot, and he came into this race third in points, so he wants to make sure he doesn't get too far behind. Yeah, he needs to think like Daniel Falkingham's thinking right now, you know, hey, just go ahead. If you want to, if you're faster than me, go ahead, because I'm looking at, you know, finishing this race and finishing it well. Now, looking at uh, Talladega duels next week, oh my gosh, I can't, I just, I can't wait for that. That's always exciting. Hey, Folks, you got to be here next week for them Talladega duels. They are amazing. Oh yeah, last year was a success for yeah. the first time these this league did the Talladega duel. So doing the doing it again next year tonight, night, we'll not only have one Talladega race but two of them. And of course, they're showing half the race that you would normally see a full Talladega race. But there's two races, so yeah. Uh, well, they're only like 38 laps, I think. Yeah. Each, 38 laps each. So, and it's exciting. <laughs> it's exciting all the way, man. It is so much and, fun. And it could definitely shuffle up the points a lot too. And yeah. it could maybe help a, a lot of these drivers gain some valuable points because you not only get points for the first race, but the second race as well. So it's kind of like double points next week. Well, Cody Miller just went a lap down. The leader got by him. But uh, we've had two, or excuse me, well, two people leave, Justin Gable and Hunter Combs. And I see Scott Schuer just rejoined TeamSpeak here. He maybe uh, got his connection fixed. He'll be coming back in. Aaron Smith now 5.1 seconds ahead of Anthony Emery. Great job. Rambler into third as he gets around Falkingham. Man, this is some good stuff going on right now. Rambler coming from fifth. He fell back about to eighth, I think it was. And he worked himself back up to this. Yeah, it just wasn't a good start for him. But, yeah, he's yep. definitely recovered a little bit. Got him back up to fourth. But definitely going to need some more work here. And, of course, we do have pit stops coming up. So a yep. lot can happen on the pit stops as well. You don't want any mistakes there. But I'm seeing a battle for six that's about to heat up right now. Jared Darling is catching John Barry. What I've noticed between these two, John Barry just doesn't get go into the corner as good as Jared Darling. But Jared Darling doesn't get off the corner as good as John Barry. So it's been kind of even with these two drivers here. But Jared Darling looks like he got a better corner there. And oh, it looks like he wanted man. to make a move there. But he's sliding a little bit. Oh, that's going to cost he's some still time. Sliding. Yeah, he's, man. Well, these guys need a pit stop, but they don't want to pit too early. They want to try to, if they can, hold out to about the halfway mark. If we get to about lap 16, I think we're going to see probably a lot of the leaders come to pit road to freshen up them tires. Oh, man, he just hit them curb. Oh, man, that was... Yeah, that he lost a lot of yeah, time yeah. there. But, <laughs> He's, i tell you what, a lot of these drivers are pushing it right now. They're being aggressive, just trying to gain as much time in as many positions as they can. But unfortunately, if you don't hit the corners right around this racetrack, 
you're you're gonna lose some time. Oh, Tony Hillbrand's into eighth. Moving up here. He started 12th place. He's moved up to eighth. Brett Punkari right behind him, though. And I'm kind of I'm kind of thinking Brett's kind of saving a little bit right now. Get through this final pit stop or get through their pit stop. And I kind of expect him to start moving up a little bit more. Ninth right now. Oh, Mercy here come to pick. What the heck happened? What happened? I missed something. Mm. <laughs> well, um, I would tell you right now, Scott Rambler, I don't know when this happened, but he got around uh, Daniel Falkiam for that third spot. Yeah, I said that a while ago. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. you did. Yeah, you missed that. Okay. Ah, uh, you know, uh, I'm, you I'm, paying attention. I'm just re nah, I'm just reminding people. That's all. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Fair Anthony, enough, right? Anthony Emery, boy, what a solid run for him. Started fourth and now is in second place. Five point three seconds behind Aaron Smith, though. Gosh, that's a that's forever out here on a road course like this. Oh, absolutely. But Aaron Smith, he's he knows how to get around the stretch. He technically knows how to get around road courses. Um, yep. We saw him win on road course last season, and he's looking to do it again this season. But still got um, 19 laps more to go, so we shall see. We're riding along with Aaron Smith right now, and he's using every bit of the track that he can use to make these turns. And great job, man. He, wow, good job steering out of that one, Aaron. Man, oh, man. Well, he's going to be coming up on the hairpins here really quick. So here we go. And this is a very sharp hairpin right here, folks. That's like a 90-degree hairpin. Good job. You know, he, he knows how to get around here, doesn't he? Oh, absolutely. You know, it really pays to know the track, I'm telling you. <laughs> it really pays. I heard him talking to Terrell Baker there earlier and kind of giving him a little coach, you know, and and uh, telling him where to turn and where, you know, where to go and everything like that. And it sounds complicated, but if you know what you're doing and what you're talking about, it, like he does out there on this track, because uh, Aaron's very good at road courses. You and I both know that. He, uh, he's a good one to listen to. Well, I'll tell you what, speaking of Thrill Baker, um, Spencer Owens Ooh. is catching him right now. This is about for the 11th spot. Oh, Anthony Emery just come to pit road. Ah, here we go. Yeah, he just come in pit road. Let's so that see. that Scott gets, Rambler into second. He gets into his pit box just fine. Looks like uh, Nate Stewart is in as well. Jared Darling is in as well. I figured we were getting about that time. I'm just kind of curious as when Aaron Smith's going to come in. You know, because then once he gets new tires on, he's got to kind of tiptoe around there for a lap to get a little heat build up in them tires. Even though this track's as hot as it is, it won't take very long to get heat build up. Terrell Baker, uh, Spencer Owens, Elijah Gracia is also in as well. Uh, Anthony Emery, uh, Nasir, and Jared Darnley just left the pits. So, yeah, we're definitely seeing some few takers. And now the question is, yep. it's when will Aaron Smith come in and uh, Scott Rambler and Falkingham? Tom Mercy yeah. was also in the pits as well. Got quite a few of my here that have not been to pit road yet. Uh, Don Barry, Tony Hillbrands, Brett Pancari, uh, Bobby Aaron, Cheney. Aaron Smith does stay out this slop. Uh, here comes Scott Rambler down pit road now. Oh, man, he slid it in there. Did you see that? Yeah, uh, hopefully <laughs> oh, uh, he got it slowed down enough. Ooh, man. He was just about sliding coming down pit roads. Going to give that second place back up to Daniel Falkingham. John Barry gets by for third. Yeah. Tony Hillbrands. Yep, Tony Hillbrands. Oh, and there goes stop. Anthony Emery by. Uh, yep. Yeah, a long down. Pit stop there. That was a long. 15 seconds on pit road. And I mean, I already know that Anthony Emery was already heaven, but that was a little bit longer than we expected. Yeah, this pit stop to be. Uh, it should be around 14 to 14 and a half, and he had a 15 second flat pit stop, so quite lengthily. Back up front, Aaron Smith still waiting on him to pit. 
they will have to pit one time. They're, they're and Aaron getting around Smith that. Is step, I mean, we're at the halfway point now, and that's definitely what he's going for. And here he comes, actually. Yep. Right now. Coming in. No, just don't make any mistakes. He's had that's a fast right. car. Yep. I don't know. Falky him might stay out. The lead a lap? I don't know. He's quite a ways behind. Well, he's not going to be able to lead a lap this lap. Yeah, he'll have to go around one more time in order to lead a lap if... If that's his plan, he may wind up just going into pit road. Now, uh, Daniel Falkiam does stay out. Yep, he does stay. Okay. So does uh, John, John Barry. Same. Yep. Uh, this, oh, man. Does that look like a slow pit stop for Aaron Smith as well? Where is Anthony Emery? Yeah. 14.8. There's, there's Anthony right there. Look at this. Race off. Pit road. Side by side. And oh. Anthony Emery gets ahead of him. But Aaron Smith's got those fresh tires. Sure. Look at this battle right now, all of a sudden. Well, it ain't much fresher. Only two laps. Oh, no. Anthony was could, just on pit road two laps ago. It could still make a little bit of a difference once those uh, tires are hot. Right, I mean, right now, Aaron Smith's tires are cold right now. Yep. But they will get hot. Yep. Anthony just, oh, he's worn off them little nubbins that they have on the, the new tires. He, <laughs> that's all he's done. He's worn them oh, off. Oh, look at that. Aaron Smith got to his back bumper. Yep. Oh, Aaron Smith's going to get by him. You can bet on it. He's just got to <laughs> he's got to hit it at the right time, at the right turn, and, and outdrive him into the corner. But he don't want to do it just yet. It's a little too early, right? He's got to get a little more heat build up in that. Also, may want to make sure he puts the pressure on. Oh, him. So, oh he got a little that too ain't much. gonna help. <laughs> Daniel Falkham stays out right now. John Barry does come in. Oh, here we go. Here's the run for. Oh, look oh, at Anthony oh, putting the block. Man. Oh Aaron man. Smith on the oh, outside. Oh man, this is a great battle. Yes, it is. Anthony is trying to make sure that Aaron can make a mistake. And that's highly possible, you know. We just don't want to see them two get together and take each other out. That's the, that's oh, no, the bad I want, thing. I want, oh, yeah. I want to see these two go at it. For yeah, Anthony wants to stay out there. So when Daniel pits, that puts Anthony out front to lead a lap. You know? so I'm sure that's what his whole plan is right now. And Aaron Smith might just give him that breathing room and say, okay, all right, I'll let you lead a lap. But oh, I'll but you lead at, that lap. They got <laughs> a slow car right here. That's James Cole. Ball yep. holding up. Anthony Emery. And here comes the run. Aaron has not quite enough. And could, James Coolbally could come into play in this, too. You, you know, it's kind of like using a toothpick. <laughs> you know, now they're, uh, he's going to let him go. Yeah, okay. he let him go. Good That's deal. smart. Yep. Uh, Daniel Falkham is coming down pit road now. So this will cycle out to Anthony Emery Lean with Aaron Smith second. But watch watch Aaron Smith here. He's going to cut the corner right here. Look at the run he gets off yeah. the corner. And there's the block. And oh now he swings high. Oh, my this is the same move he tried to pull last lap. It didn't work for him. Yeah. Can it work from here? Oh. oh! Contact a little bit. And now they're side by side. Oh, oh and he took the contact. Emery. 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 Oh, goes no. Emery. Oh, my around. goodness. Holy oh, look out. Holy smokes. And that's going to put Scott Rambler to second. That's going to put Anthony Emery back to third. And that right there is just hard racing. We got to go back and look at this again. Okay, they're I mean, coming was, in. They're coming yeah. into the turn one, and this is where they're really starting to get racy. Coming up the hill here now. Anthony Emery kind of crowds Aaron Smith off the track. When Aaron comes back, he's got a full head of steam side by side into the next corner, and this is where they make contact. Anthony trying to put the block on Aaron Smith, and Aaron would have no part of that. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, Aaron, Aaron wanted no part of Anthony squeezing yep. it down, but I, I I mean again, yeah, Anthony I mean Aaron sent it in there uh yeah. for sure just to he make sure, sure he was still side by side with Anthony Emery, but man, I mean that's just good uh. hard racing and unfortunately it cost uh Anthony a lot of time and definitely a probably a chance to win this race yeah probably well ramblers in second now anthony emory still in third no damage to the car might have uh, might have torn the tires up a little bit but i'm sure he'll be all right he's got 13 laps to go he probably isn't too happy right now 
<laughs> uh, and if he holds on to finish third, remember we talked to the top three after yep. every race. I wonder what his thoughts on that incident oh, will be like. But oh boy, <laughs> but well, he, at the, he's got 13 laps to cool down. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, for him right now, not only for his tires to cool down, but he needs to cool down as well. Just get back in yeah. the game, focus. You know, I know. Uh, tempers can definitely fly on road courses, but he yep. just needs to stay calm, relax, and just get his mind back in the game. And maybe, hopefully, maybe he can chase down Scott Ramler because he's got a fast car. I just he don't sure know does. if it's. I don't know if it's going to be enough time for him to get back to Aaron Smith, unless the caution comes out. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna do it. <laughs> I think. I think that's what Aaron Smith is saying. I'm so glad everybody's all spread it out because I do not want to caution. Well, 5.4 seconds between second and first. 12 laps to go. Too. Long ways to go, man. A long ways. That's like you might as well be a whole lap down <laughs> to try to pick up five seconds. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, while that's been going on, um, somebody I know has been moving up. Look at Daniel Falking back to eight. Though. What in the world seventh. happened to him? Seventh oh, yeah, seventh. Yeah. You're right. So he had a bad pit stop, and he's going a little bit off course right there. So I don't know what happened to Daniel Falking there. No, but he's a long ways from John Barry in six, though. So. That's uh, all of the five and a half seconds up there to John Barry. So again, he's got he's got a he's got a, a long road to hoe right there. I'm telling you. And that probably because he stayed out for the extra few laps yeah. too. So uh, he was on those worn tires. He lost a lot of time, but it could help him out um, later on in this race. Now he's got a few lap fresher tires, but it's definitely too far to have a shot to win this race. How about Jared Darling in fifth? Man, this is great. Picking yeah, up a couple I was, positions. I was watching him, too. Um, he did get out ahead of John Barry. Uh, right now, running right top five. Good run for him so far. Yeah, Bonnie said it was bound to happen, and it was. The way them two were oh, racing, yeah. it was bound to happen. You know, sooner or later, somebody's going to get in the side of one or the other one, and and, and nothing, uh, both of them did anything wrong. Nothing Anthony did wrong either, trying to hold his ground to keep that lead. That's it's right. just, you know, he's doing everything he can. And, you know, it could lock him into the uh, playoffs here. Sure. Because he, he's it. he came into this race 28th in points. Yep. I mean, he hasn't made, he only made four starts before tonight's race. This is his fifth start of the season. But, well, I he, mean, he really wanted to lead a lap, and he still never did get to lead a lap. So, I mean, him. yeah, he did. Yeah, he he would have really liked. No, he didn't lead any. F. The Emory never liked. Oh, that's did he not? No, because uh, uh, who was why. it that was out in Daniel front Falkingham. there? Daniel uh, Yeah, and Falkingham. Wow, you right. Later, but yeah, Anthony never got to. He never got to lead a lap. If they were coming around, he would have let it, okay? But uh, <laughs> it just well, didn't work out that time. <laughs> Nate Stewart back to fourth. He's having a good race today. Uh, you were right. He is a good road course racer. Realize how good he was. I think there's, I think he kind of surprised a lot of folks out here today. <laughs> For Sure. But yeah, having a decent run. He started third, though. He's only dropped one position since the start of this race, but still a good run for him overall because he did come into this race um, only... Uh, I mean, he hasn't made all the starts either. He's actually missed a couple races. He's only 30th in points. Yeah. A good run like tonight would definitely move him up in the points some more. Well, thank you, everybody, for tuning in tonight. We appreciate it very much. Hey, uh, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. We'd appreciate that very much. Uh, you can check out our full schedule at maxbtv.com, and also follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash maxbtv. We'll be here tomorrow night for the Laura Cup Series at Homestead for the season finale, folks. You are not going to want to miss that. We'll be crowning a champion tomorrow. Four drivers eligible for that championship, and they are Joseph. Well, unfortunately, I will say one of them's not me. That's for sure. <laughs> um, but uh, no, it's going to be uh, Daniel Falkingham, Jarrett Leiper, Terrell Baker, and Taylor uh, Butcher Benjamin going to yep. go for the championship tomorrow night. Oh, it's going to be a good one, man! I can't wait.
I, I've been so looking forward to that race to Barnet. Almost as much as Nork's duels next week. <laughs> Almost. Oh, yeah. We're right there. And, Pretty close. And tomorrow night's homestead race is going to be under the lights as well. Oh, yeah. This that's time. right. Ooh, that's going to be awesome. That would be the first time that I broadcasted homestead under the lights. Well, you're welcome. <laughs> yeah. Well, like we got, what was it? Uh, Chicago Land or what was it? One Chicago you did? Land. Yeah. Yep. Under the lights. We got that here. And I never did one at Chicago Land under the lights. I wish they had, I wish like they'd add like Texas, or, you know, some of these other great tracks, Las Vegas. That would be awesome under, under the lights. Anthony Emery still hanging on to third. Uh, Nate Stewart is really not gaining on him. He's uh, two and a half seconds behind him. He's not really, nobody's really gaining on anybody. Although, although, I got to say this, Anthony Emery has gained quite a little bit on Scott Rambler. Whether it's going to be enough or not, I don't know. He's chopped well, a couple of seconds off of that time. Well, I know one driver that he's not closing the gap, and that's Aaron Smith. This guy has been <laughs> yeah. flawless getting yeah. on this racetrack. He's led 20 laps here to eight out of the 32 we're going to run. Race went by so fast. I can't believe we're already at eight to go, seven to go this time, next time by. Yeah, Mike, Mike I hope you're there tomorrow night as moderator because, man, I'm probably going to need you in chat. Probably going to be a lot of people ranting and raving about that race tomorrow night. That's going to be pretty crazy. I hope you can make it, brother. Tony Hillbrand's 10th place. He's picked up a couple of positions since the start of the race, so but still a top 10 finish for Tony here today. That's amazing. Uh, just ahead of him, Tom Mercier, and that's another great run. Starting 15th, running in 9th. That's pretty impressive, Tom. Good job, brother. Good job. Yes, sir. That's an impressive run. Well, like I said before, Joseph, you got nothing to lose tomorrow night. Just go out and try to get that win. Yeah, that's for sure. I think uh, also what I'm going to be focusing on more, and I did some testing earlier today. Uh, I injured my hand last night, unfortunately. I've um, seen I, that. Yeah, for those that don't know, I injured my hand. Uh, it, it, silly incident, too. Just, just getting out of the shower. Fell over and oh. just landed the wrong way on my wrist, and it... Uh, sprained it pretty good, so I'm wearing like one of these uh, braces right now. But yep. uh, I, I think I feel all right tomorrow. I know I can't bend that wrist much, which that was a little bit of a challenge. So I had to adjust a little bit, but I think I'll be all right to complete all the laps. Well, just remember, Jared Darling did a missing finger, so <laughs> for, <laughs> hey, for weeks. Hey, you're you're a real racer if you could race through pain. That's that's sure. right. And he did it for several weeks, if you remember. He only took like a week off, and then he was right back to racing again. I, was like, I thought you were like hurting. He said, oh, I am, but man, oh, I, I am, don't want to but... miss a race. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm a racer. That's right. Got to go I out mean, there whether you're injured or not. I, I mean, look at all those years that, you know, look at all those times Davey Ellis and Dale Sr. raced through pain, and yeah. they still went out there. Taylor Fry, 18th, or what is that, 18th place? Yeah, lap down. Uh, that was a lot of serious damage on that car driving a modified out here today. <laughs> he is the second one a lap down. Elijah Gracia is about to go a lap down. Aaron Smith's coming up on him. I'm kind of shocked at that. I Elijah's usually pretty good at these road courses. Uh, no, I take it back. This is a cup car. He's good with, like, the Pro Mazdas or the Indy cars. That's what he's good at. <laughs> he's got to rewatch this broadcast. He'd be like, oh, come on now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he just passed up Sean Williams and went into 15th. Feeling that pressure from the leader coming up on him, but the leader did sneak by. Aaron Smith got by him, put Elijah a lap down. And Aaron Smith is just on rails out here tonight, isn't he? Oh, absolutely. Whoa! Oh, behind Elijah! Him. Elijah Whoa! I hard into the tire barrier. Oh, my gosh. you got to be kidding me. It was just like he just drove straight into the tires. He did that on purpose. He was listening to the broadcast. I'll yeah, it probably, he probably <laughs> got so offended by what you said about him. He's like, you know what? I'm just going to smash my car right into tires. He's, He's going to end it all. Right. 
He better not. <laughs> I'm just going to end it all. He just, well, he went a lap down, and I don't know. He might have just said, you know what, the heck with it. Yeah, he just, oh, he caught the rumble strips right there, too. That didn't help. But he never even locked up the tires. <laughs> oh, I think he knew bummer. that he was in trouble, so he's like, no point breaking. Yep. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And that car is totaled. Oh. Is he even in here? Yeah, but he muted. Okay. Well, Rambler now nine seconds behind Aaron Smith. Nobody's got anything for Aaron. All he could do would be to hope for Aaron to run off the track or something and lose it, you know. But uh, Rambler well, had a good run. Oh, yeah. Well, I think for Aaron Smith, he's just taking it easy now. You know, he's got a big gap. Yeah. I would not force the issue on making a mistake. I just yep. do run all the laps like he's been doing every other lap. Just be nice and smooth. He's got four laps to go this time by. He's got no problem behind him. Well, apparently Elijah uh, uh, came into the chat and said he was trying to get back at Aaron. Uh, oh, you know what? If I, if you remember last week, Rudy, uh, Aaron Smith and Elijah Gracia got involved in a late race crash uh, at Pocono. I remember Elijah was not too happy with Aaron Smith. So oh, was, yeah. he, was that try to go for revenge and it just didn't work out for him? Because, man, that that would not look good on Elijah, oh. that's for sure. No, that wouldn't have been good on his resume. No, he might have been parked next week. <laughs> wouldn't that, It would not surprise me. I mean, who is that all the way down the grass over here? Cody Miller. Cut him up. Uh, what, what do you know? Uh, it looks like he's <laughs> came back on the track. But you know, he's picked up a lot of positions. He's up to 19. Because <laughs> everybody is having misfortunes. Well, so. I mean, he's back where he started, but I mean, you know, holy smokes, that car is totally destroyed, and he's still running good out there, though. You know what? I'll be honest with you. I'm surprised that car ain't destroyed even more for a course for Cody Miller. <laughs> Man, somehow he's doing he's a heck still, of a job. Somehow he's still running all the laps. Here comes Sean Williams up behind him. Not a scratch on that. That Taylor Swift car. Oh, I take that back. There's a little damage on yeah, the left front corner Remember, there. he went straight into the tire oh, barriers earlier. Two oh, my Taylor goodness. Taylor Fry into the wall. Wow. Huh. Whoa. Guys, relax. Aaron Smith's like, please get me away from these yeah, guys. Yeah, <laughs> three more laps to go. Yeah, where is Terrell? Terrell back in 11th place, right where he started. Now, I've seen Bobby Chaney up there challenging him, but Bobby, uh, I don't know, he must have had a moment there on the track because now he's quite a ways back. He actually went a lap down. Spencer Owens is uh, did pass Bobby Chaney, and he goes into 12th, but uh, he's got the leader breathing down his neck right now. I'm going to two to go for Aaron Smith. Two more laps around Mossport, Canadian Tire Motorsports Park. 2.43 miles, I believe it is, around here. And two to go right here for Aaron Smith. I'm sure some of these guys are probably going to be glad when this is over, Joseph. <laughs> I, yeah, for sure. There's, there's probably only going to be one happy driver coming out of here, and that's yep. Aaron Smith, for sure. Yep. But, man, what a drive he's put on tonight. Well, I got to say, for everything that Scott Rambler went through there earlier, he's doing excellent, too. And Anthony Emery still holding on to third place. Them guys have really showed some muscle out here today. Oh, we got a car off the track, and right in front of Scott Rambler, that's Cody Miller. Oh, oh my oh gosh. Oh, man. Oh, my gosh. My heart just about come right up in my throat around that one. I think Scott Rambler thought the same thing, too. Yep. <laughs> wow, that was close. Oh, there's tr there was trouble oh, right by Aaron Sean Smith. Oh, goodness. Wow. Yeah, Sean Man. Williams was off track there. Well, you you just about missed it because Aaron Smith, uh, Kane Henry spun right in front of him. Oh my! And he had to avoid uh, Kane Henry. I thought Aaron Smith was done. Man, that was 
so close. But here we go, Rudy. The white, white flag, flag is in the air. Man, what what a drive for Aaron Smith today. I, and yep. he needed this, too, because he came into this race 21st in the points. Yeah. Definitely is going to be a good points night for him. And with the win tonight, it's going to lock him into the playoffs. So sure. um, just a very good driver on these road courses. Not surprised yep. on this performance tonight. Yeah, Daniel Falkingham, somebody was wanting to know where he's at. He's back here in seventh place. Doesn't look like he's going to be able to gain any more positions. He's about three seconds behind Jared Darling right now, so uh, with one lap to go. Aaron Smith, man, I'm telling you, it's been all Aaron Smith here tonight. Yeah, just getting off the hairpin turn for the final time. Now this long straightaway here going up the hill. All right, here we go. Last couple of corners. Aaron Smith, last time by, nine and a half second lead over Scott Rambler. This guy has been flawless tonight. Came into this race 21st in the points, not doing, having a good luck season, but tonight he is going to dominate here at Canadian Tire as he gets the, his first win of the season. Very good. Excellent job by Aaron Smith, and he's going to spin and it around. There you go. Does yeah. a 360. Oh, and right into the tires, Aaron, <laughs> buddy. Oh, man, it looked like oh, he was going to have an awesome 360. And Oh, and he gets smashed after the finish. Trying to back it up oh. here a little bit before he gets all that damage on her while the car still looks oh. good. Uh, <laughs> yeah, right. Well, it did, it did look good there until he hit the fence. <laughs> mm. All right, we'll get these guys down here in just a minute, folks, so hang loose. Aaron Smith, dominant car all day long here at Canadian Tire. Aaron, he came into this race 21st of the points, but with this win tonight and a good points tonight, this has to really feel good for you. Tell us about your race overall. Well, uh, at the beginning, it was a bit of a dumpster fire. Uh, we started, I went when the green dropped, but uh, Daniel didn't go, and I beat him to the line. Had to have that uh, black flag cleared, but... Uh, after that, we pulled to a pretty good lead. Uh, Emery passed us on the undercut and the pit stops, and we uh, had a pretty good battle there in those two laps. But then uh, we both went for the same real estate in turn two, and he got dumped. And uh, from there on, it was just it was just logging laps at that point. Now you guys are going to Talladega next week. Actually, d dual Talladega races next week. Of course, the expectation is to survive over there and have a good run, but. Uh, What's the strategy trying to get around Talladega? Uh, stay away from everybody who I've made mad this time. Uh, I, I feel like I have a lot of people angry at me about both that start and that contact I had with Emery. So I'm just going to lay low in the first laps of the uh, Dega races and try to make something of it. All right. Well, congratulations on your win tonight here at Canadian Tire. Anybody you got to thank for this win? I'd like to thank Evo Simsport for... Uh, helping us out here in this race and uh, everybody else. Uh, Smith Esports, me, myself, and I for making this car. And uh, everybody who raced clean there and the lap cars got out of the way. And uh, you guys were broadcasting it. Now, we will be going to Watkins Glen in a few weeks on September 3rd. Um, and like we said, you're really good at road courses. Uh, what about Watkins Glen for you? Uh, I feel like if it's on a peak week, then I think I'll have a shot in the top three. But if Zelensky shows up, it's the race for a second. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, best of luck to you next week out of Talladega, and congrats on the win tonight. All righty. Thank you. Scott Ramler comes home second tonight here at Canadian Tire. Scott, tell us about your race. Well, I know why I'm here this time. That's for sure. Uh, well, started in fifth. Uh Worked my way up through the field, got to uh, Nathan Stewart, and 
I don't know what kind of wild hair he got up his butt, but uh, he decided to uh, start weaving around the track trying to uh, keep me behind him in the most erratic fashion I've ever seen at a road course. So uh, he ended up wrecking himself out after after I passed him without making contact. Uh, then uh, everything else just kind of fell into place. Uh, Daniel had some trouble with his pedals. Uh, Emery got dumped or spun across... Uh, Aaron's nose or something and I just kind of walked up into second position and never looked back was there anything you could have done differently tonight to have a faster card to uh, be able to compete with Aaron uh, practice and not be sick that's a good point well you guys are going to Talladega uh, next week uh, I like I said to him obviously to survive but what's your strategy over there uh, stay as far away from Jacoby as I can. <laughs> wow. All right. Well, uh, I'm just kidding. He, he's he's fun to race around, but uh, after Daytona, I just want to stay away. <laughs> well, is there anybody you got to thank for your second place tonight? Uh, definitely want to thank John for putting everything on here with Nork. Uh, thank you guys for broadcasting, everybody for uh, tuning in and watching on Max Speed TV. I uh, want to thank uh, Sim Graphics and uh, my team at uh, Downforce Motorsports for getting this paint set up for me. I love this car. Uh, and uh, hopefully we'll see you somewhere in the top three next weekend or week, whatever it is. All right. Well, well congrats on second place tonight. Uh, best of luck to you next week. All right. Thanks, guys. Anthony Emery comes home third, but it looked like uh, he was battling with Aaron Smith late in the race, and unfortunately, um, just hard racing, uh, at least from my perspective, but he may have a different side to the story here. So, Anthony, uh, you had a fast car, but what happened over there in, in that turn? Uh, I got dumped. Um, I don't really know what to say. I got just dumped. You know, I, I gave him a lane, he came up into me. Uh, I don't know what to say. Um, if he didn't, if he wants to be ahead of me, um, you know, he should have done his pit strategy better. I don't know what to tell him. Now, if you two were still battling, what, was the car good enough that you could maybe be able to hold him off and contend for the win tonight? Yeah, I, I think so. Um, the initial first couple of laps, um, he was going to have the advantage, but the tires were going to even out eventually there. So, um, yeah, I felt like I did everything right, and I still lost. So that sucks. Now, you guys are going to Talladega next week. Uh, if you are racing, uh, what's your strategy over there? Um, I guess, I mean, I agree with Rambler. Stay away from Jacoby as much as possible. But I also will stay away from Rambler as well because they're both pretty, they're both wrecking balls. So, yeah, <laughs> that's, that's my plan. Well, good strategy to have. Uh, was well, there anybody you got to thank for your uh, third place tonight? Uh, yeah, thanks to Max Speed TV for the broadcast. Thanks for everybody who watched. Um, thanks to Revan for the league. Um, I'm not happy about the rules tonight. Um, Aaron clearly, you know, leader dictates the start, and he gets the line first, and he did not get the line first. Aaron was way ahead of him, and he got his black flags cleared. So that's pretty stupid in my opinion, and that should be looked at for the future. Well, I can understand your uh, opinion there, and I would have to agree with you. But, uh, well... Sorry about uh, not having the chance to win tonight. Looked like you had a fast car that could have been able to hold off Aaron, but uh, you have to sell for third night. Well, best of luck to you next week out at Talladega. All right, thank you. You'll get it back. All right, Rudy, it's time for the results here. Yes, sir. Let's get to them here. All I know is that, Rudy... <laughs> That doesn't look like there's a lot of happy drivers. I know uh, yeah. it doesn't sound like for Rambler or Anthony. So. I know. It. Yeah, I don't, they're, they're really, Aaron, I watch out, them. man. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Aaron might not want to run the uh, Dega duels next week. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Anyhow, coming home with the win here, Aaron Smith, Scott Rambler second, Anthony Emery in uh, third place, Nate Stewart finishes fourth, John Barry with a top five finish, uh, Jared Darling sixth, Daniel Falkingham will finish in seventh place. Brett Punkari eighth. Tony Hillbrand's ninth, and Tom Mercier tenth. Just... Terrell Baker will finish the last car on the lead lap. He will end up eleventh. Spetson Owens' first car lap down will finish twelfth. Bobby Cheney will end up thirteenth. John Williams fourteenth. James Kolabali will round up the top fifteen. Keen Jones sixteenth. Patrick Colby seventeenth. Taylor Fry eighteenth. Cody Miller nineteenth. Ken Henry. 
rounds up the top 20. And then you got Elijah Gracia, 21st, Scott Schuer, 22nd, Justin Gable, 23rd, and Hunter Combs uh, will finish up dead last and 24th, only uh, finished 25 laps down. All right. Well, thanks for watching tonight, folks. We appreciate it very much. Uh, and Joseph, thank you for helping. I, I cannot thank you enough. You do an amazing job. You bring a lot to this, man. It's really cool. So, all right. Well, we'll see you next time. Stay safe and have a good night.